Hello everyone, good morning. Okay, let's start trading in the Cortex market. First of all, I want to explain something. Uh, on the YouTube, I read a lot of comments from the traders. They are telling that sir, in the classes, you are always telling us don't trade into the OTC market, but you are trading your own self on the OTC market and why? And so they need an answer. Not a problem, brothers. We can trade into the OTC market if you understand the market. Number one, the IQ option OTC market, which I found that is a little bit risky as compared to the OTC market. In the OTC market, I found the in the Quartex, I found the OTC market, which is more relevant in uh, uh, compared to the uh, real market. And a lot of psychological patterns and a lot of levels and a lot of uh, ideas which we are discussing into the real market, it is working in this market. I found, I practiced and that I got a good results. That's why I'm trading. Like a continuation science are working, uh, like a patterns are working, uh, like a, mostly the psychological patterns are working, the rejections are working. The algorithm of this market is good. So that's why I'm trading. But... If you are thinking and you are unable to read this market perfectly, don't trade in this uh, OTC market. You can trade into the real market. But if someone who is understanding the concept, then he can trade. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the today, what I'm going to tell you in this video, that is about the uh, which wick is important in the candle. The lower wick or the upper wick in a green candle or in a red candle. Um, before I recorded the video, but uh, unfortunately that video was not recorded. Um, I, I don't know why, but again, I'm trying to uh, record and explain the things that how you can use and how you can give the importance to the candles, right? So for example, if we can check this slide, that a candle which have an open, close, low, high. Everybody knows. The wick, sometimes we are getting this wick from the bottom side and sometimes from the top. Lower wick and then upper wick. Same thing here you will find upper wick and lower wick, which is important. In my education, in my experience, I'm looking that the lower wick in the green candle is more important than the upper wick. In the red candle, the upper wick is more important than the lower wick. Why? The reason is that uh, when the candle starts, the sellers enter in this candle and the buyers control them. And finally, the sellers entered from the top word to weaken the buyer. But here, the sellers are controlled. So when the sellers are controlled by the buyer, I'm calling it that the buyers are controlled, the sellers, and this week is a controlled week. While this week is uncontrolled, this is not a controlled week, it's the uncontrolled, under, under controlling. The process is under controlling, but this is controlled. So when, if it is a control, so this is, I'm taking as a uh, demand that there are a lot of buyers which are, which are very, very stronger in this area. And uh, so if I'm if I'm looking the market comes uh, stop or close into this zone, it uh, the buyers will react into the market and I'm getting a lot of opportunities as well as uh, same thing here you will find uh, if you will find the buyers enter in the first attempt and then sellers control them. So this when sellers control them and then again buyers enter to weaken the seller. So this is what uh, this week is. Uh, controlled week from the seller side. And this is acting as a supply, acting as a resistance, a strong resistance. Now, the one point which is very important, what is that? The point is that uh, if I want to create a support, definitely I require a one red candle before this green candle. And if you find that is support, which have a greater week than the red candle, this support is very superb support, very effective support. And this support will give us a most of the time reversals. But a support which you will find uh, from a uh, red candle and the uh, wick, this is greater uh, than the green candle wick. So this support, I found it is less effective, very less effective. 
as compared, even the seller candidates is strong or the support is strong, whatever. But here when you will find a green candle and this week is similar and this week is greater. Or sometimes if week is equal, not a problem. But this week must be holding the candle. So this SNR will be very, very effective SNR. And if you can check the results, it will work too much. On the chart I'm going to show you. Uh, let's see. Okay. And so here is the... Okay, this one. Okay, some uh, traders are also telling that uh, you are editing the account and your account is not real. So I'm ignoring those messages, but uh, the truth is your trust. If you trust me, that is good. If you are not trust me, don't follow my video. But this is a real account. If I can check, you can see this is a real account. This is a demo. This is a live account and that it is not edited. Okay, thanks. Uh, now let's identify the support. So the support which I'm going to take in the trading, that will be uh, from here, horizontal line. If I take this one, uh, support, if I'm talking about the support, look at here. If I'm taking the support, the wick is not available here. So here, that is a less effective. If this is a support, uh, which wick is not greater, that is a less, less effective. Even this is a support, the wick is effective. Uh, it's a greater. If on the first candle, not sellers, uh, buyers come to second candle, they really can break. And if you can check this resistance level, it is very effective resistance level. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, here, this resistance is not effective more. This week is, uh, there is a week, but it is not controlled by the bias. This week is similar. Bias week is similar. But you will find the bias reaction. You can see here, the bias are trying to enter the market. That is a reaction which I am uh, trying to give you explanation about it. Look at, say, a bias candle is there. Look at here. Yeah, this is what this week is broken. And uh, the candle closed on this week. Why? This is the excessive of the buyer. They enter in the market. Uh, likewise, this is, and uh, if you can check this week, it is also good. Uh, okay. So this is also good. Perfect. And uh, this week is also perfect. Uh, you can see we can use as a support this one as well as. But this is not a week, so we are not trading and uh, taking this as a support. Here, if you can find a lot of examples are there. This week is greater, right? So if greater week is a sellers, then you can find uh, this resistance is very effective. Again, if you can check, this is effective resistance. It already worked here. And uh, likewise, we can use uh, these type of SNRs. So this is about the SNR wick reading, which is very important. Here again, you can find this is a wick. Okay. Now the trend is started, but lower wick is you can see there is a bias wick here. There is a pressure. Okay. So you can see the buyers are trying to enter, but the upper side, the sellers are more controlled because a trend is uh, down. But you can see that when the buyer, uh, sellers enter in this zone, the buyers are crying again and again. And they have a jump as well as okay. So try to understand this type of weak reading and use in a support and resistance and use as a logical understanding that if you are trading any week, why you are trading the week? What's the reason? So you can see again bias how can it because of the reaction? So a lot of the things uh, we have to cover in this area, okay. So try to understand this way. Let's, uh, I will some uh, take some trades as well as to show you that how we can take the trade on uh, this type of uh, SNR. So here, what we are looking, see, again, we found there's a support, and there's a resistance as well as, okay. Uh, if I'm taking this as a support, now the trend is down. One thing, if you point, the trend is down, okay? So how we can take a trade here? If the candle is closed in this zone, we will go with the sell. And uh, because this week is very, very important, the candle is already moving down. But again, you can see here, there is a week. So if there is a week, I will never go with the sell. I will go with the buy, but later, 
little bit later. Okay, but if the candle closes into the uh, this one area, then okay, so candle is not closing. Okay, I have placed a sale. Area. You know why I placed this sale? The reason is that that this is a rejection from this area, but the candle is not. The body is not closed inside this zone of the uh, green candle. That's the reason I have placed the uh, sell trade. This will be rejected back and I will win the trade. You can see that this type of understanding, you have to immediately understand the market that what you have to do. So there are rejection, rejection. The trend is in our favor. The market, the wick is our in our favor. The market will give us a winning trade. So likewise, First of all, uh, you have to uh, understand what you are doing and uh, then uh, completely and after understanding, you need to take the trade, okay? So it is a panic in this candle. The market will be down. It will give us a winning trade, not a problem, okay? You can see that will be the winning trade, as I told you. That is a win, okay? So likewise, you have to place these type of trades, but this was a little bit risky. Uh, at the end, I was also confused that why the market is not moving down, but it moved down and gave me the winning trade. So I hope you understood this lesson and, ho and hope your uh, doubts was clear, clear about the OTC market and about my real uh, uh, agitated account. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much for watching my video. Next time, inshallah, I will create more videos on it. Thank you so much.